How's it going guys? I'm going to show you how I upgraded from the screen that goes here to this controller. This one is an SL100. There's a couple other models that I think are the same, just different programming to them. So pretty much right now, there is nothing under this. I can get it off. There's also no headlight. Headlight usually goes right there. But yeah. This is a connector from the brake right here that goes to your brake light, which I am not using. I actually just wired it, that way my tail light is on when the scooter is on. So right now it's off. Hold the power down. All right, and now my tail light is on, if you can see that. So I'll hold and turn it off. This was the original screen, or one of the original screens. It was like this. Um, it did not work. I had to try soldering on my own connector. This is the original connector. All these, there's a, another video I have on the scooter that kind of says why this did not work. But I did not have the exact same board to replace it. So I tried what I could, but it did not work out. Uh, but you just have this plug you guys will have this plug up there with the original screen. So let's unplug that, it's all four pin. And then all the way up to that will be this wire, which has four pins. And it will run all the way down the handlebar into the battery case on the bottom here. And it will have these four wires just like this. And that's what will be right down here. So what you'll do is you'll take all these screws out all the way around here. They're still Phillips head screws. All right, once you take this cover off, this is what you'll see. There's a little foam pad to help protect the battery. There's your battery here. It's a 36 volt, uh, six amp hour battery. Here's the wiring. This is your tail light. Then in here, this is your controller that comes with your new one. So you hook your battery up. Mine had a different connector on it. So I cut this connector off the original speed controller. I don't know where I put the original speed controller. Uh, you hook your three wires up for your um, your front hub motor. If you have a rear hub motor, it'll be the same connections. Let's match them green, green, yellow to yellow. This is like a blue to purplish. Um, then these are your hall sensors for the motor. So mine had a little black plug on it, kind of like this one. Um, so I just cut them off both ends because the connectors were completely different. And I just used these little heat solder things here. And same thing, yellow to yellow, blue to blue, green to green, black to black, red to red, white to white. And then this is your actual new throttle here. So you just plug this in. There's no modifications needed to that. If you're black and you're white here, and it goes to the controller, which is black and gray. And yeah, this is where I wired in the tail light because this is, I think, for a headlight option. But I don't have a headlight, so I just wired in a taillight. That's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to it. This is your charge port right here. Right in there. And that's your charge port connection. You don't have to do anything with that. But yeah, then you just feed this in there and get everything to fit. <laughs> that's the, the fun part. It's actually not too bad, though, on this scooter. There's a decent amount of room in here. But yeah, just make sure all your wires fit. Make sure to put this foam piece right back in here. Put your bottom back on and you're good to go. But yeah, that's pretty much it. How you swap from the original controller to this controller. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.